Hi everybody, YouTube world, aliens, animals, other kind of creatures, people that don't identify as people, and my friends and subscribers, hello. I just made a video and I figured I would make another one because my baby is sleeping. And I actually have time to like conversate with you guys. So let's go over something that is kind of like thought provoking for me and like wondering like if it's actually legit, maybe you can help me out. Are there any jewelers out there? Mm -hmm. You have a parent that's a jeweler, anything, anything would help. Okay. So Anyway, I bought this watch from Nordstrom's Rack. And for all the fuddy-duddy people out there who are fancy, you know all about Nordstrom's, right? Well, Nordstrom's Rack is all the stuff that is basically um, like out of season and like no longer cool, no longer worth spending a million dollars on, etc. So... Have I been shopping at Nordstrom Rack for the last five years? Yes. Have I been shopping at Nordstrom's for the last 12 years of my life? Yes. Um, do I know if Nordstrom Rack is like legit? I have no idea. Um, I've probably spent at least like $15,000 at Nordstrom's Rack in the past like three years easily um, on their sunglasses um, and things like that that are like way cheaper than like Nordstrom's or Saks Fifth Avenue etc and even Saks Fifth Avenue has a has like a cheaper website called called um, SaksOffFifth.com so that's like all the stuff from their racks that are like out of season or just like not cool anymore or stuff that they just can't keep in stock but I'm wondering if some of this stuff is like knockoffs and I don't know how to tell but anyways going back to this watch so this is a Jevril watch which I've never bought before I'm usually like in the middle of the road kind of watch person because I wear a watch every day I just buy like maybe like a $200 watch like that's going to last. Um but this particular watch from Nordspins Rack is a it's it's a Jevrel G E V R L and the name of the watch is a GV2 Women's Piemonte which is P I E M O N T E stainless silver watch and so what I did to see if I was getting a good deal is I went on jevril.com and if I'm not saying that correctly please please by all means correct me is it jevril I don't know so I went on jevril.com or jevril.com and I'm like okay am I getting a really good price on this watch on Nordstrom's rack well this 36 millimeter watch with Swiss quartz movement um, with 12 diamonds in the face is $2,795 on Jevril.com for the same watch. Now, let's open this box. Like, I had just gotten this. So, here's the box. And it says Nordstrom's. It doesn't say Nordstrom's rack. It says Nordstrom's. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe Nordstrom's is, gave it to Nordstrom's rack saying, you know, screw you. Like, here's a watch. So here's the box. The box has like a waxy feel to it. And it's a big, huge box. I'm like, geez, right? So let's change my camera over um to this box 
I'm really sorry about my lack of technical skills. Hold on a second. <laughs> Maybe we can do this like... I'm really sorry. I'm, like I said, I'm old and like my technical skills are lacking. So we're just going to do it like this. So here's the box. And it's a really nice quality box. Like, yes, I feel like there's a $2,000 watch in there for sure. Okay. This was my little white piece of paper that I had ready for you guys. You're like, hurry up and freaking open the fucking box. All right. I will. Shut up. All right. Box. Um, and then there's another box inside the box. This box is broken. Um, ooh. so this is bottom. There is a instruction manual or an instruction manual. And then there's this international warranty card. Looks pretty legit to me, right? Um, says worthy of a red carpet, GV2's Piemonte, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, collection is pure sophistication and, and aspiration. Like its namesake, region of Italy, known for fall truffles, spectacular wines, high-end ski resorts, and exquisite cuisine. Like, it's ex okay. So this is kind of like a high-end watch, whatever. So, like, here's the gold version, and it tells you how to set the time Pull the crown to A position and then turn the crown to set the hour and minute hands. Water resistant, highest grade stainless steel, which it says 316L, 316 and sapphire crystal. I don't know what any of that means. Do I know a lot about diamonds? Yeah, but I don't know anything about watches. So if somebody knows something, let me know. Now let's go into this watch here. So this is like the box. I hope you guys can see me. Mm -hmm. Hope there's enough light. So here's the box and we're going to open it. You're probably seeing it before I see it. There's the watch there. I'm going to try to get you some better light here. It's kind of... There you go. All right, put that back down there. So this comes with a little pillow and the pillow feels leathery, which is probably just pleather or whatever. And this watch looks exactly like the watch on jevel.com that's over $2,000. So let's look closely here. This says, I don't know if you can see this, 324 dollars and 87 cents at Nordstrom. And then there's the Gevrel tag. And wow, I mean, you can tell the diamonds are real. I mean, they're sparkling. Like, absolutely beautiful. And I'm not talking about the outside. I think that's called a bezel. Those are not diamonds. But the 12 inside of the face are real diamonds. I mean, this is a really pretty watch. And then the um, dial is blue. And I think it's like a sapphire. It's an actual sapphire which I had no idea. Um, it says it's Swiss made, and I wonder where it's made. Um, I really don't know. I'd like to know. Let's check this out. So this is what your watch will look like if you order it from Nordstrom's Rack. If you order it from thegevrel.com, if it looks different, then please tell me. I'm kind of like 
wondering how to get this plastic stuff off here. There we go. Mm. Or maybe not. It has like a, a saran wrap consistency to it, but a little bit thicker. Um, so let's get closer to this one. Can you see at all? It is like absolutely stunning. Like, and the heft of it is perfect for me. I like to feel like I have a watch on. If you're not into like having any heft on your watch, meaning like if you don't like the weighted feel, I wouldn't suggest this for you. Because it, the, because it is a little bit heavy. So what I'm trying to do here is read the back of the face of the, um, the watch. Because it has writing on the back of it. And it usually has really cool meanings back there. For people who are connoisseurs. So it says Swiss made movement. Diamond. Which means that they're real diamonds. And it says sapphire crystal. And it's model number 14200. And it says GV2 Piemonte Jevril Limited Edition. And 189.89 or something like that on the bottom. But the thickness. Like, let's see if you can see what I'm doing here. And obviously, I would need to get it, like, get the links taken out because I can just slide it on. So I'm a petite person, and this is how big it is on me. So that's what it's going to be like. Um, but that's how the face looks on a woman's wrist if you have a small wrist. If you have a large wrist, you probably don't need to take any links out. Um, so I hope you can see that. It's a very beautiful watch and I have no reservations of buying it. I mean, it's actually very stunning. What do you think? So anyway, that's my review of this watch um another thing that i forgot to mention is that the hands of the watch are actually dark blue and i'm gonna try to go into a different light for you just in case you couldn't see it um there i'll go by my bathroom window so if you're considering buying this watch Oh my God, hop on it if it's still on Nordstrom's rack. I'm trying to get a good picture of this for you without a glare. And it's really hard to see the diamond sparkle. I'm trying my best to get a good view of this watch because it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, like I said, diamonds are more of my specialty that I'm like really good at knowing about. Um, but if you know anything about this company or like if you have a Jevril or Gevril watch, let me know. Um, maybe this will look better here. And I'll turn it around for you. Very shiny. So, like, the takeaway with this is how can this watch be only $324.97? And I wrote down the price on Jevril.com, and that was $2,795 for the same exact watch and model. How can that be? Does anybody have the answer? And if you do, please let me know. 
um, if you are friends with any jewelers, like I said, or if you're like savvy on this kind of stuff, let me know, like, how, how did I get this watch at this price? Like, I just don't understand if it's that expensive as a watch. Did I just get lucky? Did they have like too many of them? Like, how did that work? So that was my unboxing and review of this um, beautiful, beautiful watch from Gevrol. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this helped you out with your purchase um, choice. Thank you.